Please. Pentecostal pastors have been cautioned on the need to be wary of endorsement syndrome, taking supposed men of God off the course of the gospel they represent. This formed part of the thrust of a press conference jointly addressed by the Apostolic Roundtable and the Pentecostal Family Network uh, conveners on Monday, uh, the 6th of March. Now, the convener of the Apostolic Roundtable, Pastor Bolaji Akiemi, said the body had petitioned the National Christian Association of Nigeria on the alleged unwholesome conduct of some of the Lagos State Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria PFN chairman. The body queried his public endorsement of the sitting governor, stating unequivocally that this is unethical for him to do as a PFN phase in the state. People conducting themselves in an unethical manner, endorsing a political candidate, the man said, is not biblical. It's not. It's, it's, actually it's not. It's not. It's a, it's a pity. I condemn it with every fiber in me. It is, it's a pity that politics has gone to church and politics is taking over, you know, the, the pastor, the, the church minds. Mm. And it's just like in a particular church where you endorse APC, for example, you want to tell me you don't have PDP, Labour Party, AAA, ACA, Abga, Habuga. <laughs> in your Abuga. church, how do you want them to feel? When a pastor is coming out, you know, it happened during the presidential election uh, where you uh, see men of God happening. coming on the altar to it, say, to even mention names. To and, mention names, to make point, and you know, to say all sorts of things about candidates that they personally want to endorse. So uh, and I think this is something that we need to condemn in its entirety. Yeah, it's they, it's not worth it's, it. It's really very wrong. It's Support really very him wrong. if you want, in private. You know, you know I said something yesterday. As a pastor, yeah, I, a pastor can come out to say, oh, I'm voting so, so, so person. Vote whatever you want vote to vote. Your conscience. Maybe, maybe, maybe your confession to somebody you want to vote for can actually convince them, but not like telling them vote for this person. Mm -hmm. As if uh, once upon a time, a couple of pastors or Afar came out to tell us vote to this person. This person eventually entered, and look at where we are today. Mm -hmm. So stop misleading your people. Let the Holy Spirit in them too. You were only appointed by God as a pastor. By in your church. A lot of you have appointed yourself. Exactly. You know you can always say church is not like a business the same way some traditional rulers already lost their integrity by endorsing candidates you will lose the spirit of god because god knows they support those the way they do but if you join but you collect a reaction before an action will take place and he is reacting we will no more tolerate christian or pentecostal banditry or ecclesiastical rascality Will not be tolerated. Shoot out. If you get to the polling booth, the first thing you should ask is where is the agent of the party you want to vote for? If the agent of your party is not there, call your party people to demand that an agent will be there. Whether you are APC, whether you are uh, PDP, LP, ABGA, ADC, SDP, whatever party you desire to vote for. Now, the complication we had at the last election were grossly made possible because some of the polling units had no agents.